Jasmine Ministries Children in Haiti. This orphanage is legally is located from uh, Port Prince, Haiti. Uh Lake Jasmine taking care of those children. In this life, at times when you in ministry and and you call to do to help on faith and not with the logic but with the faith. And when I went to Haiti, um, I saw a need. I met a, a young man, and he had uh, he had two kids that he, he had taken off the streets, three and four year old young kids. He only had one room, so he became a parent. I decided to say I'm going to help him with the kids. In that area, there was an orphanage, and they had uh, over 15 kids. They were closing down because they couldn't afford it. They didn't have no sponsor. We brought the other two kids there. So I decided no, I'm going to help or we are going to help. When I say I'm going to help, because, you know, since I'm from United States and I know people in United States, they have good heart. There's a lot of good hearted people here. So when I came back in, the church I was going to, uh, uh, Glenn, Glenn Vaughn, he came up to me and says, you're going to Haiti? And he says, yeah. he says, I want to help people in Haiti. He told me that, and it's like God said the man to me. So I said, yeah, I said, yes. I just got involved in something here. Now we have 33, 33 kids. It's, it's more kids coming in. Kids are knocking at the door every day. Little kids come and knock at the door. They want to be in there, but we can't receive all of them. It's been five years now since we're helping. So we have about 12 people working right now with the kids, 33 kids. So it's, it's a big operation. And right now, what we are facing with is we want to build a place. If we have a more permanent place, some we could help temporarily. They could come during the day, eat and take a shower and go. So um, we are looking for help. I started the church. We take all the resources we get in the sand and, and um, almost everything I make has sand and, and Glenn Vaughn is helping and he's getting other people involved. So uh, what we're doing, we want to have as many people as possible getting involved so we could help these orphans and get to a better life. And so we welcome people who wants to go there, who wants to be part of this. And, and there is, there is a, the need is high, and they, these are 100% orphans. We just get them off the street, period, and trying to fend for themselves. Now we have them smart enough to be going to, into high school. So it, it, I can see them going further that, going to university, I can see them coming and giving back to the orphanage, you know? And, and th th that is, is like giving a path to, to a child that would otherwise die before they reach 15. Mm -hmm. that, you know, give him a life. Because uh, some of them, they really didn't, didn't start with a life period. It turns out to people like us to say, well, this child is alive and we want to give it a chance.